<laughs> hey everybody today we're talking canned food how do you open these things stick around tick 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 boom hey guys thanks for joining me today we're gonna go over how to open up one of these guys right here because this is what i usually carry with me whenever i go bushcrafting because they're simple they're easy uh they're clean uh and it's a container even after it's been opened up and the ingredients have been poured out. You can use this for a couple other things like making char cloth and a candle. But what happens if you don't have a can opener to open this? You don't have a P38, you don't have a regular can opener. How do you open one? I mean, sometimes you'll get lucky and you have the pull tab. Well, that's ingenuity for you. But if you don't, if you don't have one of those, don't be that person over there. Well, let me tell you what I do. You listen here. I'd take my big old Bushmaster knife and I would take it just like this and I would stab it just like this. Don't do that to your knife. All right guys, I think we can all agree that is not the way to open a can of any kind. Let's go through a few simple ways of opening it and then we're gonna get into a couple craftier ways. Come on down here. All right guys, this is what they call a P38. Very simple, easy to use, very lightweight. And we use these a lot in the military. And how they work is this part cuts the can right here this little hook right here hooks underneath of this lip and all you're gonna do is just do a twisting motion just like that and as you can see it opens it up pretty easily efficiently and you're done with it alternatively you might have one of these little doohickeys on a Leatherman or somewhere else hanging around and they work very similar to the P38. Right here, this little hook hooks onto the lip of the can. This little point right here hooks into the can and just opens it up. Just like that, pretty simple. Did you know you can also open up a can like this with a spoon? The can's pretty strong. The lid, not so much. That's why we always open the lid and not the can. Not quite as clean, not quite as easy. However, you're just gonna take the spoon and run it right on the inside edge here. And all you're doing is weakening it. Yeah, you gotta put a little pressure into it. You'll see how it's starting to dent the can. And I just broke through it. Just like that. So you can see that now it's just a matter of working your way around it with the spoon on that open edge and cutting your way around it. Or conversely, you can just keep on rubbing it like that and make, make holes all the way across and then connect, connect the holes. I got one last ditch effort. Let's say you don't have a can opener, you don't have a spoon, but you still need to get this puppy open. Let's find a rock. And no, we're not gonna bash it open either. All right, to make this one work, you kind of have to understand how a can is made. So you get the sidewall that comes up like this, and then you get the lid, and it sits on it just like this, nice and loose. And then there's a machine that comes along and crimps it shut just like that. So you basically have the sidewall scrunched between 
the two sides, the outside and the inside of the top, which creates this little lip right up here that if you scrape that away, you've just opened your can. Let me show you how it works. Starting to break through. I want you to see. So I want you to see the lip. See how the lip's getting worn away? Now the other reason you do it upside down, you're gonna lose your juices, but you at least get some food out of it without any grains and grit in it. Voila, green beans, but just a hint of concrete. All right guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here today and I appreciate all the support that you guys have given me. We went over real quick how to, well, a few different ways of opening up these little puppies right here. And I hope you found it useful. So what have we learned? Carry a Leatherman or some kind of can opener. If not, carry a P38. If not, carry a spoon. If not, well then, lug a brick around with you for all I care. Not very smart, but it's feasible. Do me a favor, check me out. I'm bombproof underscore bushcraft. That's bombproof underscore bushcraft. That's my Instagram address. You can also check me out on Facebook under bombproof bushcraft. You can look for me on uh, bushcraft survival primitive skills Mickey Wilson I do a live feed every Friday night where I get to start my weekend off right with you guys and we talk about all kinds of bushcrafty stuff so guys until next week I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here get out of the inside and into the outside take care